You're ready to start investing through Fidelity, but you don't quite have an idea as to what the best index funds are for you to be keeping an eye out for. Well, I've got you covered. That's exactly what we're going to be going over today in this video. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Trey and welcome to Let's Talk Finances, where here we help people get out of debt, reach financial independence so that you can ultimately begin building wealth. So if that sounds like something that you might be interested in, go ahead and subscribe to this channel as I'll be giving you the step-by-step -step guides on how to become financially free. Fidelity is one of the premier and best brokerage accounts that you can use to build wealth. The top three being Vanguard, Fidelity, as well as Charles Schwab. However, my personal opinion is that Fidelity for some reason flies under the radar. They have great, great funds, they have great expense ratios, and they have a long track record, all right? So if you have decided to go with Fidelity, you are not making a wrong decision. The five Fidelity index funds that you should be looking into today in 2021. Index fund number one, and that is the Fidelity 500 index fund. This fund seeks to track the S&P 500. If you're not familiar with what the S&P 500 is, it's basically a benchmark that tracks 500 of the largest as well as most successful companies in the United States. These companies would include Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and the list goes on. Now this particular fund has about 80% in the S&P 500. Its current expense ratio is 0.15%, which is relatively good. The key aspect of this particular fund is that, let's go back to Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett states that the only thing an investor should be investing in is a particular fund or stock that tracks the S&P 500. And that's what this does. History shows that these 500 companies within the United States have a track record of progression, all right? So what you want to do is put your money into a fund that you know will grow throughout time for long-term investing. This particular fund is a great one for you to go with. Let's get into the one-year, five-year, and 10-year returns for this particular fund. Its one year return is about 18.40%, its five year return is 15.21%, and its 10 year return is 13.87%. So as you can see, it's a very consistent return for all investors. Now, just remember that past performances do not guarantee future gains. You cannot go wrong with a fund that tracks the S&P 500. So if you are a current Fidelity investor, put down in the comments below what funds you currently invest in or which funds you're looking into. Fund number two, Fidelity's Total Stock Market Index Fund. Personally, a Total Stock Market Index Fund is my favorite and the reason being is for diversification. For those of you who are new to investing, if you don't remember anything else, remember this one thing, that the name of the game is to spread your money out as strategically as possible so that you can be diversified, meaning you don't have all of your eggs in one basket. In my humble opinion, there's no better way than to truly be diversified than investing in a fund that tracks the total stock market. So what do we mean when we say total stock market. Not only are we speaking in terms of the 500 largest companies within the United States, but we're also speaking about those small companies as well as mid-sized companies. The importance of this is that those small and mid-sized companies definitely have the ability to grow and make it to the areas of which these 500 large companies are at. You wanna spread your investments out across the board with all of these particular funds. This total stock market index fund seeks to track the Russell 1000. It is market cap weighted, which means the vast majority of its holdings comprise of its top 10 companies. Its expense ratio is 0.35%. There are some investors that will go with an index fund that tracks the S&P 500, like the first index fund that I mentioned, but they'll also invest in a total stock market index fund as well. Personally, I do not do that. And the reason being, there's too much overlay between the two. To me, it doesn't make sense to invest in one fund that consists of 500 companies that the other fund does as well. There's too much saturation there 
there. And in my opinion, you're wasting money in investing. What I would do is choose one over the other. Which one you choose is predominantly going to be up to your personal investment strategy. As for me, I've decided to go with a total stock market index fund. The one year return for this total stock market index fund is 20.78%, which is staggering. Its five year return is 15.38% and its 10 year return is 13.74%. So those are all great numbers. You can't go wrong with this. One. The third index fund that you should be looking at and that is Fidelity's Large Cap Growth Index. This one also tracks the Russell 1000. It is also market cap weighted. However, this one is a little bit more specific being that it seeks to invest in only companies that have high growth. So if you're looking to invest in a particular fund where you can grow very rapidly, then this is one that you want to look into. Now its expense ratio is 0.035%, but the growth is what you want to look at here because it's pretty staggering. It's one year growth, 31.90%. 5%. That is just crazy. Its five year return is 20.47%. And as of today, the Fidelity website does not have relative and current information as to its 10 year returns. However, as soon as it updates, I'll be sure to post a video on that. Fund number four, Fidelity's large cap value index fund. Now, the first question that people may have is, oh, wait a minute, what's the difference between a growth index fund and a value index fund? A growth index fund seeks to grow very rapidly, even though it is still for long-term investors. However, a value index fund is specifically for long-term investors to make gains throughout a long portion of time. So this one in particular still tracks the Russell 1000 and it is market cap weighted. However, the returns are not as great as a growth index fund, as you'll see here shortly. Its expense ratio is 0.035%. Its one year return is 2.86%. Its five year return is 6.08% and its 10 year return is 9.8%. 0.9%. And again, this one is very much so for the long-term investor. The fifth and last fund that you want to look at is Fidelity's International Index Fund. Now, as the name states, this one tracks the total foreign stock. It is the international version of Fidelity's total market index fund. Its expense ratio is 0.035%. The reason that this one is so good is also for diversification. In my personal investment strategy, I do invest in international funds. The reason being is I want to spread my investments out as much as I can to be as diverse as possible. More so what I'll do is like an 80-20 split, which will be like an 80% in US stocks, 20% in international stocks. So I can dabble into those companies internationally that are doing very well. But it's not enough to hurt me significantly if the market should crash there. Its one year return is 8.17%. Its five year return is 7.72%. And its 10 year return is 5.67%. All right guys, so there you have it. I tried to make this as quick as possible so that you can get to investing. Five Fidelity Index Funds that you should be looking into in 2021 if you are a serious investor that's looking for long-term growth. Fidelity is a a great broker to go with. For those of you who want to know what exactly an index fund is, in this video, I went over that, what an index fund is, why you should be investing in it, and how it can benefit you as an investor. So go and watch that video after this one. Those of you who are wanting to connect with individuals that are like-minded, who are all about investing and becoming financially free, I would highly encourage you to go over to Facebook and join the Let's Talk Fire Facebook group. Go and join that group if you're serious about investing. So as always, I want to thank the men and women who have served and who are currently serving this country. I greatly appreciate you and so do we all. So until the next video, guys, let's talk finances then.